Hey guys, right, today I'm going to be doing my holiday stroke birthday nails with you and these are really nice and bright and tropical inspired. So if you want to know how I recreated these then please stay tuned. Okay, for the base I'm going to be using Gelays in Flip Flop Fantasy and I'll put all the links to where I've got all my stuff today for you. And that's a really nice bright corally orange colour. And then IBD Just Gel Polish in fireworks and that gives the sparkle on my nails that you can see and then I'm also going to use, be using Irresistible or Lacente as they're called now Neon Nail Shadow in Snakebite and then for stamping I'm going to be using Tropical Plate 03 and 05 and I'll show you those in more detail later just my plastic scraper and my squishy stamper which I got from MoU London Okay, so I've got two thin coats of gelays um, on my hands. And what I will say is I applied two really thin coats. And when I did this hand, I did it in my UV lamp and it wrinkled like nobody's business. So I switched to my mini LED and it was absolutely fine. I've had no wrinkling at all. So just a little tip for you there. I didn't have any shrinkage from the free edge, so that wasn't a problem, but just the wrinkling under the UV, so no idea what's going on there, but hey-ho. Right, so I've got my snake bite pigment here, and all I'm going to do is do an ombre fade going down the nail. So I'm going to start at the cuticle area, and then just pat it in. So you don't need a massive amount of this. And then just gently fade it down towards the free edge. You can see that there. So I'm just going to go along and do all of them like this. And it gives a really nice pinky orangey tone. Makes it really nice and bright. Okay, so I've finished the rest and I'll come okay, back. Okay, so I've finished those now and I've just changed my lighting slightly so you can see how bright it is. And all I'm going to do now is just to seal it is to go in with my IBD fireworks. And it's a really, really lovely, subtly sparkly glitter. So what I'm going to do, well, I'm at a funny angle so I'll try my best and do this. And as usual when you've been using pigments just float it over the nail so you don't drag those pigments off but at the same time making sure you're sealing all of that in. And this is really nice because you can see it starting to pop when you put um, either top coat or a glitter coat over the top. The pigments really, really stand out. Right, so I've got a bit on my brush there and all I'll do, I'll wipe that off before I put it back in the bottle. So I'll finish off and I'll Okay, come so back. they're all done now and I've also used my Gelish Top It Off for my top coat. So they're all totally dry, ready for stamping now. And I hope you can see the sparkle on those. They're really, really nice and bright. So onto the fun bit. These came out last Friday, I think. Uh, last Friday in July, I think. And those who know me on various social networks will know that I'm pretty much addicted to stamping and collecting stamping plates. So I ordered number three and five of the Tropical Collection and I'll just quickly show you some of the images because they're really, really nice. As you can see, I've used them already. Um, these are why I wanted it because of these tropical flowers, they are just absolutely gorgeous. This one actually I've got on my toes at the moment, which is really nice. And this is the XL plate, so this will fit, you know, 
everyone's nails, I would imagine. Or you can just pick off bits, which I'm going to do for mine. So that's 03. And this is 05. And I just, well, I love all these images. This hummingbird, I've got on my middle finger there. That's really cool. And these are so nice. And these. These would be really nice with a pink background and then black flamingos on there. These, love these, and these. I love them all. So I was really, really happy with these. And I think I'd use all the images on these plates. So I'm going to use this hummingbird for my thumb and my middle. And then some flowers for the rest. So we'll get straight into the stamping. Okay, so I'm going to quickly clean off my plate. And for that, because these are very, very deeply etched, I use a, a sort of wad of kitchen paper. So I find with the lint-free pads, even though they say they're lint-free, something will get stuck, or cotton wool, I wouldn't recommend, because they get stuck in the plates. So I'll just, I'll just use an acetone pump, and then I just do it as flat as I can to clean it off like that. And I'm just going to be using my Conad Black Special Polish because I find this is the best opaque black that I can find. And then just my trusty lint roller to clean off my stamper in between. Okay, so do the hummingbird first. And I'm going to really fill this image with polish as I find that's the best way to get the best image. And I'm just going to scrape a couple of times with my plastic scraper pick up the image and there it is really nice and then I'm gonna roll it right I want the hummingbird on my nail so I'm gonna try and line this up and push it in and there you go there's the hummingbird and then this I just sort of pull up pull my skin away so when I come to seal it, I don't seal in any of the bits that I don't want. So, there you go. Right, so I'm going to do my thumb as well with that hummingbird. Clean off my stamper. Fill the image with polish again. Scrape. Pick up. Right, that wasn't a very good pick up, so I'll do that again. I'll clean my plate off. Okay, that's a better image because I cleaned my plate off. Right, and then I want to have him going that way. There we go, that's really nice. Again, just pull it away from his skin. Like that, so I get my flowery plate as okay, well. Okay, right, I'm going to be doing random images from these three here on my nails. So I'll do my pinky first. I'll just do half the image because it isn't going to fit the whole nail. That's really nice. So I will push that on like that. And there you go. I love the contrast of the black actually against this pink and orange. It's really, really nice. That one done, and then the next one I'll do this next one over. I'll try and get some of the leaves on this one, so I'll start over here and then just push it in. Oh, that's really nice. I love these leaves up here, really nice. And I might as well show you the last one, so I'll do this one here. And then go in with that big flower, I think, on there. And there we go, really nice tropical flowers on there. So I'll top coat those and show you what they look so like. So those have been top coated and I was just really gonna quickly show you 
the cleanup process um, you can do with acetone, but anyone that uses black polish will know that it just gets all in the like the side walls and the cuticle area. So a little tip I've picked up is a piece of sellotape. And this gets the bulk of it off and then you can go back in with your acetone just to clean up the other bits. And it, do, it really does just get rid of all the big bits around your nails and it just prevents sort of that black staining that you get. So yeah, just like go in with the tape and just keep picking it off and then and it just really helps. So that's just another little tip. I've picked up along the way and then any any of the other bits just go around with acetone at the end but this gets the bulk of it off and it's such less mess okay so they're all cleaned up now ready to go and I absolutely love them so these are going to be my holiday nails for Florida and I think they're really really in keeping with the tropical theme yeah, so those tropical stamps stamp really, really well. So if you wanted to get your hands on those, then I'd probably be quick before they sell out. So there you go. So hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, so when I get back from holiday, I'm going to be doing a lot more uploading, I think, and a giveaway when I reach 2,000 subscribers. So look out for that as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.